Alright guys, hello and welcome back to another episode of Good Company with me, Spacefish. Now, uh, yeah, we're right in the campaign still, uh, just looking to go ahead and get the second uh, mission of the campaign uh, done, which I think is the second out of three. We can still unlock this one as well, which we're definitely going to take care of too. And then afterwards, it's going to be free mode all the way, but this goes a long way actually, so we're really looking to see that campaign unfold outside of the public test. Um, yeah, like, I don't know, I, like, let me know down below in the comments, maybe, guys, how you've been enjoying this game so far. Uh, I've already said it in the last episode, but I can just reinforce it here that so far I've really had a good amount of fun. Um... I'm not going to draw final conclusions here because I kind of want to see some more of the game, just do a bit more campaign stuff, just also try out the free mode a bit, but if it stays this fun, I'm pretty positive I would go ahead and get myself this game and uh, probably also bring it to the channel. So let me know what you guys think down below in the comments, would you like to actually see this game as a proper series on the channel? I think it's definitely got some potential. But yeah, without further ado, uh, let's go to the next campaign mission, which is going to be Charlie's comeback. Not compact, but comeback. Um, Charlie's circuits is closing down, not on your watch. My dad worked at them for four decades. There is no way you can let it go under. Time to step in and show off your skills. Do it for dad and for Charlie. <laughs> Alright, so level goals. Oh, we've, uh, yeah, so we've got one level goal, exactly. So we've got one level goal, all the other goals are pretty much only uh, available once early access starts on Steam. So we want 10 basic research data, so it looks like we're finally going to get into researching things, which is pretty nice. Okay. Bye. Do oh, we've got two buildings, apparently. Picture Dan shared all kinds of exciting stories about working here. Working here. Sorry, guys, I really don't know how to talk this very morning. Um, oh, an employee. Hello, Yolanda. Yolanda? Yolanda? I think that's no. Huh. Interesting. So she just stacks the shelves and... Oh, okay. I bet you there were... Okay. Waking years is the story of my life. How to... I had to stop by after her. Who's going to be in charge of this place now? That's one proud dad. Oh, that's dad. Hello, dad. Dad kind of looks, uh... Younger than me, but you know. <laughs> okay. Look at that. He looks like like he literally looks younger than me, doesn't he? <laughs> okay. Um. What is it? I can't remember seeing anything like it back in my day. Statistics point. We used to we used to coordinate employees thing. And, uh, okay, so that's why she's okay. Cool. This thing here, yeah. <laughs> Fancy machine for everything nowadays. A logistics point. It's <laughs> so already on point. He is signed to this logistics point. Activate logistics mode and take a look at. Okay. So yeah. Um. Assembly table. Oh yeah. So taken in, taken out. Yeah. Hover over an inventory to start me. Yeah. I, okay. Ah. Okay. I'm just gonna. Oh. No. Click on a workplace widget to expand it. So now let's do review the materials. Okay. Crafted modules that will then come out. What goes in must come out. Makes sense. Drag a connection from the calculator to the outgoing zone. Yep. And there we go. Done. Now what? Oh, now they need to be transported by that too. Okay, so. Pretty much one employee gets assigned to one logistics point and then, hmm, point him ops <laughs> Research, nice. Fancy schmancy professors. Wow, that was like 4K right there, nice. Can do everything ourselves. So here's the research stuff. Research desk requires basic research data to develop new modules, okay. Okay, build a desk, use it to research a new module. Okay, let us build that desk then. Research, here we go. Research desk, we're just going to plonk that down right there. 
And now, uh, I think we were just supposed to kind of pick what we wanted, right? Let's open the tech tree then. So we can go for a battery stack instead of a single battery cell. We can go for a matrix instead of an array. Or a plastic case instead of a simple case. Or a wooden case, you know. Or do we already have that? No, it doesn't look like it. Um, I think let's go for the battery stack. That seems to make a lot of sense to me, I guess. Maybe. So here we go. Manual research, basic research data. Ah, now we need 12 more. We can just start research and then we are going to take care of it ourselves. Yeah, okay. I mean, I guess we can probably get employees doing this as well, right? So that's definitely good. So I guess one way earning research data is just having somebody stand there taking care of actually researching stuff. That's what we are kind of doing ourselves right now. I like the way this kind of logistic point stuff is working. It's pretty nice. I gotta say, she's just hammering together the calculates up there. I like this little touch with our little uh, companion too. Okay, so complete. All right. Um, can now craft a tier two module. Which okay, yeah, tech tree. Okay, makes sense. Three tier two modules. Um, ah, okay. So she wants me to. Okay. Question being, do I need an assembly desk for it? Or do I need a workbench for it? I think. I don't know. Do I know? L let me see what, I, what we've got over here in the other building. If there's like something free that I can use. It doesn't look like it. So I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm not sure of the actual materials we need until I have desk to actually assemble those. I think that would actually be nice. Same thing as yesterday. If the developers are watching. Some kind of rest. Or maybe it's in here. Let me see. This is just more manual, but like some sort of recipe book would be pretty nice, you know, just like something down here or something that you can click where you can just see the individual recipes without actually requiring a proper table to see what you need. Because right now all my tables are kind of filled with workers, right? And I would like to see what I actually need, like as in which table and what materials, and that would kind of define like firstly which table I put down and secondly where I put it. So, actually having a recipe book up front to be able to see that would be pretty nice. Okay, so I picked the right thing. I uh, just put it in the wrong spot. <laughs> thing is, the ingoing is over there, so we will also make sure to put that stuff over here. And um, we could probably do the same thing. Like that would work. Okay, let, let's uh, let's just build something first. Just like that. I mean, we could probably just pick stuff up ourselves. Let's do that, whatever. Um, like that. And let me see what I actually need. I need plastic and metal. Ooh, okay. Oh, let's all that real quick. Just in time. Plastics and metal. Cool. So I kind of interrupted that supply chain right there, probably, but whatever. I'm just going to craft three of these myself. We can probably set up a little chain right there too if we're gonna need it, like uh, just hire another employee. I think like this stuff, how it works is pretty straightforward, right? You just place a corner shelf next to the tinker table, have an employee that works with the stuff in the corner shelf, and then this employee which takes care of logistics just uh, transports stuff over every now and again. So uh, yeah, it's pretty neat. I think that's pretty easy to understand and pretty straightforward, I like it. Cool. Founder 3. Milestone reached. Nice. So, next up is a key aspect of engineering. Drumroll, please. It's product design. Okay. Spaceships robots. Okay. Let's see if we can handle it. Designing new product involves choosing a set of modules. Oh, okay. So we can do our own. I like it. Except a design desk. <laughs> massage chair and a television. I mean, that would be uh, pretty nice, but pretty sure we don't have the stuff for that right now. 
1k with a new product. Okay, I think first things first, we will need a design desk. So let's get that. Put it right here. And this is our standard calculator right here, I see. So, battery life, display fidelity. Okay, let's create a new one. Um, well, still gonna be a calculator, I guess. Um, we're gonna name it Calculator Mark II. Very creative stuff, right? So, you can put an LED array. Oh, is this... This is an interesting system. So this is kind of like how much we can put onto this thing, I guess? We have an ecological footprint. Interesting. That's an interesting idea. Fragility. Heat loss. Huh. Can be modified with... I like it. I like it, guys. I like this concept. It's, this is really interesting. So I guess what I could probably do as well is just put another LED array on here. Yeah, and we're at max display fidelity, but at the same time, this kind of, well, one, it probably affects our prices. We'll have to see about that, but it also affects these drawbacks. Now we can see down here on market appeal. Mandatory features must be greater. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. So this actually still increases the market appeal. I guess like the ecological footprint and stuff is not really very bad at all, so not really much to worry about. Now we have a battery stack. Oh. Oh, it's a 0 0.3 though. No. So like theoretically, we literally don't need that battery stack for the calculator because it doesn't really max out on things for us. Like putting two single cell batteries in here would be way better better because we could kind of max this out and probably max out market appeal as well. I'm unsure, are these drawbacks actually separate from the market appeal? Because what I feel right now is if I would put... Oh, can I even put two single cell batteries? I think so, right? Can I rotate this? Yeah. It's like a little Tetris game or something. Yeah, so we're at five stars of market appeal. It does seem like these drawbacks are separate, aren't they? Or maybe they're just so small that they don't impact this? I'm unsure. Let me know down below in the comments. Be great to know. But um, thing is, I kind of want to try out a new battery stack. So let's get to using that, shall we? We'll just do it like that. That's pretty nice. Okay, cool. Max price. Huh. There's a market panel. Okay. Tons of stuff still to learn. Okay, let's go with this design. We got a calculator mark two here. And uh Well I guess that's that. Our design's finished, right? Now we probably just need uh Oh we need a bunch of things. Wait, let me before we actually get to producing this calculator, we will set up a proper production chain right here. So we will need storage. I'm gonna do like I think we can do shelving rack right here. Just like this. Um Quasimodo is kind of like in the middle of that, but he got himself out. That's good. Okay. So, this is pretty fine. Now, let's uh, set up the logistics of this first. So, okay, so this logistics points pretty much takes care of that. How do I define what should be in here? Um, They didn't teach me yet, so I'm kind of unsure. I'm pretty unsure. Oh, like this probably, right? Now what did I need for this? I needed this. I needed that. And I needed this. Just like that, I think. Yeah, let, let, let's, uh, let's try and do that. I think that should be fine. Then we need an employee. Let's hire one. I'm just gonna go for the cheapest again, pretty much. Like, I I'm really unsure. Um, really, really unsure. As to if they actually have any specific skills or not. Have at least not found a panel regarding that so far. Maybe, maybe we'll see later in the game. Oh. 
Yeah, we should probably define the logistics of this stuff too. Um, maybe we'll see that a bit later in the game. Maybe it's just gonna be... Now, how do I do this? Wait. Your out... Where does your outgoing go? Nope, wait. Logistics mode, please. Your outgoing goes back in there. Okay. Alright, interesting. And then... This thing is... Okay, so how do I connect that thing over to here, though? Um, yeah. Probably gonna need a design disk first. No, not a design disk, an assembly... Assembly disk? What's it called? We are gonna need an assembly table. Right here. Sort of like that. Then we can probably put another corner shelf right here. That'll look nice. And now I kind of need to connect these two. I'm just not sure... Oh, that's actually... Oh, okay, that works. So these are supposed to go over here. Just like that. And then... This table here is supposed to produce my Mark II calculator. Oh, which actually needs other stuff too. Oh god. Oh god. Now I'm not sure about the production frequency, but I'm pretty sure... It's gonna be hard to actually produce enough of all this stuff. <laughs> Let's see, let's see. Okay, uh, logistics. So, what we're also gonna need... It's gonna need some... Wait, can I only have one connection of that, though? It doesn't look like... I don't think so. No, we can have two connections, okay. So, we're gonna need these LED panels, and we're gonna need some cases, too? These here. Which are gonna go over there. Does that work? Mm-hmm. It does look like it works. Let, let's see about that. So, uh, over here we've got our assembly table. Now we're going to make a logistics connection. Like that. Yep. And then we are going to need another logistics connection. Like that. Oh, no. Another one like that. And then, like, that. So, like... This one we gotta get rid of. Okay. Um, employee is gonna be the other thing we need. Let's just take her and assign you to this assembly table. Yeah, and now she's got cases, but that's pretty much it. I'm actually kinda worried that this worker here is gonna kinda overload with her logistics point work. It does look like you can assign multiple employees to that, so I think we are going to get another employee. And just assign him to this as well. See if that works. Yeah, that works. Okay, perfect. So now they can take care of these things, uh, and hopefully kind of keep up the supply. Because they are going to get very busy here very quickly. I mean, we're keeping a good bunch of supply right here. Just for these work, uh, working tables, but still. Two workers will definitely be a bit better for us, I think. So, here comes our first calculator mark two, which is nice. Why are you not? Huh? Okay. Guess she was just chilling for a second right there. I'm sorry for that one, guys. I actually totally forgot to put my phone on mute. But there we go. Now it's nice and quiet. You guys won't have to hear that again. So... Cool. Um, is that all just... No? One one calculator mark two, and here comes the second one, I think. Now, question is, where's our market panel? I'm unsure. Oh, it's over here, isn't it? Yeah, so this is... This is nice. So you can apply this discount if you want to sell them quicker. But I guess we don't need to just now. We've got two on sale right now, so whenever this... gets picked up again, which is happening in one minute, we're done with this goal. Founder level four. I'm wondering, do these milestones do anything for me? Kinda unsure about that. If they do, definitely not just yet. So... We've got a lot of stuff on sale here. And it does not seem these guys are running out of supply anytime soon, so that's good. We can actually check assembling times. Like, I'm guessing... Yeah, okay. So, like... The thing is, the way that I designed this calculator, I need two LED arrays for one calculator, 
and I need one for this one. I've only got one place assembling those, so I probably would need two more. Yeah, because I don't think at least that there's no. It does seem that all the assembly times are the same, no matter what product you're producing. So, uh, I mean, I think that would kind of be an idea for the future as well. Dear developers, if you're listening. Um, just kind of different assembling times for different products to kind of make it a bit harder to iron out the different uh, production times and get everything uh, aligned to each other. Rest in peace, Charlie. Oh, damn. Okay. Let's talk about basic research data. Okay, interesting. Let's see. Modules on an analysis desk. Modules you use for this are consumed in the process. Okay. Okay. Alright, nice. So we need an analysis desk. Now my origin is going off. Ah, god. Um, do we have that yet? I don't think so, right? We only have the research desk, not the actual analysis desk. So, let's plunk that down right here. And check it out. So, modules to analyze. Okay, analysis will consume the module. Oh, I see. So, wait, I have battery stacks though, right? So I can probably... I am, um, yeah, okay, let me, nope. That's not the way how this works, apparently. Analysis not possible. Wait, so this doesn't do the trick? But I actually got to... Ah. Ah, okay, I see. So this is what I actually want to now... Wow. Analyze. While I, myself, am using the desk. Just highlighting the whole thing. And this is what I allow my employees to analyze on this desk. If I actually uh, put somebody on there. So, let's do that. Let's uh, just take two of these and uh, analyze these real quick. Hello. Thanks. Because uh, this is pretty much the only thing that I have in my inventory right now, and well, no need to put a whole chain of employees there just to research stuff when I think this campaign mission is probably done pretty soon anyways. So let's see, let's research this stuff. This is actually taking a bit longer, so one for a change, but I think it would be nice to have like different production times, you know, like have a calculator take 30 seconds and maybe the LED array take 10 seconds, the battery take 15, I don't know, all that stuff, you know, then you kind of got to optimize for production times and have different like worker skills so that some are working faster than others, some are walking faster than others, all that kind of stuff is, uh, well, that's things that I have in the back of my mind. But then you got to keep in mind, guys, this is a public playtest. We're like pre-early access right now, so there's probably tons of features. Not important here. You're just in time. A um, company is gaining momentum. Worth keeping an eye on them. He doesn't want to have me talk, does he? Uh, but, but I think there's probably tons of features still on their way, so whether or not those are on their way, I don't know. But you know, guys. Just uh, throwing my two cents on this game out there, so in case the developers actually end up seeing that, you know, they maybe get some nice additional ideas on how to actually develop this game. I would surely love to see some of these features in the future. But for the time being, that's actually it for the second campaign mission already, guys. I'm gonna go and get this stuff edited and rendered and thrown out at you guys as quick as possible so you can see the newest video on that and then I'll get back to recording and making some more videos on this game for you guys. For the time being guys, I hope you've enjoyed this episode as much as I did. If you did, please make sure to hit that like button down below. As always, if you're new to the channel and are interested in staying up to date on any future episodes, please make sure to hit that subscribe button and hit the bell icon down below as well. And as always guys, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Ciao! Thank you